Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will create a cards list. Now, what is card? Remember how we used to have card view in XML? Same way, we have card in Jetpack Compose. So, card is a view group in which you can contain other types of views. Like for example, in this video, we are creating an UI similar to YouTube homepage. The only difference is that we will have a list of cards instead of list of videos. In each card, we will have a thumbnail image, video title, and channel name. Simple? Alright, let's create it. Open a composable activity. First, let's do the prerequisites. So, go to colors, add green color. And then, then go to theme, replace the primary color with green color. And then, next, as we will have thumbnails, obviously we will require images. So, add images to the drawable. And then, now listen to me carefully. As we are creating a list of cards, so we will require a data class for it which will contain the data items. Hence, create a data class named YouTube Data. Inside the class, we need to mention the items that will be present inside the cards. Like, we will have a thumbnail. So, create a variable for it. As it's an image, hence in data type. Then, video title as string. And channel name also as drink. And then, look, we will have a card view and inside it, these three items. Got it? But this is just the data variables. We need UI elements which will be attached to these data variables. So, we will create a separate UI class named YouTube UI. This is a YouTube UI composable function. Here inside it, we will create a card that will consist of an image, a text for title and another text for channel name. So, let's create it. As I previously said that we are supposed to attach data with this UI element. Hence, it is required to call YouTube data class here inside the brackets. Then create a card. We will give three parameters. First, padding. Horizontal is 16 dp and vertical is 10 dp. Then second is fin max width. And then third is elevation, which I will give as 8 dp. And then, our card is ready. Now, inside the card, we will add image, text and one more text. But you cannot directly add it because we need a layout. So, I will use a column layout whose background color will be green. Then, inside that column, we will have an image with painter syntax. Now, this is where you attach your data variable, which we created in YouTube data class. So, attach ID as YouTube data dot thumbnail and keep content description as null. Then, the basic customizations like keep the image max size. With an aspect ratio of 16F by 9f and then content scale as crop and then 
Remember, all of this is happening inside card only. Now thumbnail image is ready. Next is to add video title and channel name. So to do that, again you will require a column layout. So create a column layout with fill max width. And padding as 18 dp. Then inside it, our first text will be video title. So here attach the data variable that is YouTube data dot video title. The one which we created in data class. Then other customizations like text color as white. Font weight as bold. Font size as 18 SP. And done. Then below it, I want another text which will be channel name. But I require a little bit of space above it. So to do that, I will add a spacer with height 4 dp. Also, please don't get confused with suggestion codes, okay? Now below it, I will create a text which will be attached to YouTube data dot channel name. And add other customizations like max lines as 1, font size as 14 SP, and text color as white. And that's it. Our UI is ready. So our data class is ready. Our UI is ready. Now all we need to do is to display them in a list. Hence go to main activity. Remove the default code. And then here create a composable function name. Display YouTube videos. And then, also if you are using Android Studio Jellyfish, then remove this and replace this with surface. And then inside it, call the composable function. Now inside it, we will create a list of videos that will be displayed on the home page. So inside the list of, write YouTube data. And here you are supposed to mention thumbnail, video title and channel name in correct order. Like our first thumbnail is Splash JC. Then its video title is Splat Screen in Jetpack Compose. And channel name Android Knowledge. Same way we'll create three other items as well. And then, so for now I have only four items in my list. If you want, you can add more items in it. Also, this is static. In advanced projects, we can create a dynamic version of it where the user is adding image from gallery and writing the video title and channel name in the text field. Got it? So list is also ready. And now all we have to do is to display it using lazy column. If you remember, lazy column is basically vertical recycler view only. Hence, we will go for it. I'll customize the lazy column by giving it max height. Padding as 16 dp. And vertical arrangement means the space between two items as 16 dp. And then lastly, as we are displaying a list, so we will use items with list syntax. And inside it, obviously, mention the list which we created above, that is, videos list. Then inside it, create a variable as video and attach YouTube UI function. And then inside it, assign YouTube data parameter to the video variable which we created just now. And that's it. Our list of card is ready. Now let's run the app and see. This is how it looks. See, we have a list of cards which we can scroll on vertically. Here we have an image with video title and channel name inside a card. Perfect. 
Also, if you want, you can add on click so that they become clickable. Obviously, I will teach you that as well while creating project. Okay. So yeah, that is it for the video. If you are new to this channel, then please consider subscribing to my channel and I'll see you in the next video.